Welcome back to another episode of Not Financial Advice. My name is Sean. Today is the middle of the day on Thursday, the 22nd of February. And today I'm really excited to bring a new stock to you, uh, new to me that I just found, Sintas Corp which is the manufacturer of job site uniforms and janitorial products uh, that has not only beaten the S&P 500, but uh, smoked the QQQ and pretty much every other technology stock or even any stock on the total market. Uh, I've found this stock and I've brought it to you because it is one of the most successful stocks of all time, up over 66,000% from uh, going public in 1991. So yeah, I've been doing all the research, you know, it's like the crazy red yarn and that always in sunny Philadelphia meme. I'm really excited to bring you this stock. We're going to do an update on what my portfolio is doing first, and then we're going to get into Syntas Corp right after this. You need to diversify your bonds. The only problem you're going to have is that you didn't buy more. Because by the time you read about it in the Wall Street Journal, it's already too late. <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome back. Thanks for joining me. I'll ask you to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And let's see what's going on with the market today and my portfolio. So today the market is up uh, an awesome 2.01% with the NASDAQ up nearly 2.9% on the day, led higher by NVIDIA, which beat earnings. Also, we received a uh, report, some economic uh, data that uh, it was on jobs and jobless claims were lower than ex expected. So we're showing a really strong economy. And apparently with the news of NVIDIA, this good news is being treated as good news as it may or may not pertain to the Fed. The market is seemingly indifferent towards the scheduling of the first or next rate cut. And so, yeah, that's where we're sitting. Pretty pretty. Uh, today, I'm up 1.16%. So I'm lagging the market. Uh, but that's good for gains of $826, which I'm just absolutely in, uh, you know, enthusiastic, enthused about. Um, yeah, sitting just within striking distance of $72,000, an all-time high for my stock investment portfolio started back in April of 2021. So as we often do, we're going to go through my top five and bottom five stocks of the day. Um, and, you know, here at my channel, if this is your first time checking me out, you're able to see 100% of my investments all the time, not only on green days like today, but on the red ones as well. And additionally, as I'm going to be doing a review on this stock, um, I also wanted to extend an open invitation. If there's a stock or an ETF that you'd like for me to do a review video for you on, you should feel free to just drop that ticker symbol in the comments below. And it usually only takes me a couple of days to get that out. So I'd be more than happy to do that for you. So yeah, I'll ask you to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And let's look at the top five gainers and decliners on the day. So today in my portfolio, we have Coinbase up 4.66%. Trueleaf is up, uh, Trueleaf Cannabis is up 4.61%. Up 4.46% is going to be Meta or Facebook. Up 3.59% is Salesforce. And up a nice 3.51% is Amazon.com my single largest individual stock holding. So that certainly feels really, really good. Um, so let's see what's doing a little bit poorer on a NVIDIA earnings beat market day. So our bottom five decliners on the day are going to be, should be these five stocks here. So we have uh, Tyson Food down 0.93%. We have Smith & Wesson Brands down 1.01%. U-Haul is down 1.29, Seneca Food Corporation is down 1.44, and Wheaton Precious Metal is down 2.6. So we have, uh, you know, growthier technology names, large cap soaring, and then we have some of the uh, smaller and mid-sized, more value oriented or cyclical names declining. And so that's where we're sitting today. Uh, looking really good. And we've just broke $72,000. It's like the odometer rolling over, but a little bit more sweet. So we're going to jump into Syntas Corp right now. Let's do so. Here we are. And so look at that. 
look at that absolute perfection. What a what a fantastic looking stock chart. So correction, 55,000 uh, percent all time gains. But just look at that chart. Would you just look at it? So let's look over the last five years. I mean, that is this is probably the most majestic looking stock chart that I have seen in my life. And so it is certainly uh, a company that we want to learn a little bit more about. It's up 207% in the last five years, which is just something like 30 or 35% a year. Uh, very low volatility as well. No declines really to speak of during 2020. Um, so we got to learn more about this company. Let's let's dive into that a little bit more granular on that level together. So Cintas Corporation, um, I'm going to do this a little bit different. Let's start out and figure out what this company is just before we start. That way we have a really good frame of reference for what we're talking about. Uh, so Cintas Corporation provides corporate identity uniforms and related business services, primarily in the US, Canada, and Latin America. I really like the geography of this company here nice and safe in the Western Hemisphere uh, with the America sandwich in the middle. So Sindas Corporation operates through uniform rental and facility services, first aid and safety services, and all other segments, as we can see there. So the company rents and services uniforms and other garments, including flame-resistant clothing, mats, mops, and shop towels and other ancillary items. Um, it provides restroom cleaning services and supplies, as well as being a seller of job site uniforms. So that's Syntas Corp, ticker symbol CTAS. So that's who we're talking about today. Uh, so let's go through the high level metrics over here on Qualtrum. Note on Qualtrum, uh, not affiliated with them. I love them a lot. I pay a subscription to use this data to research stocks. I'll leave a link for it in the description below. Uh, but here's Syntas Corporation, ticker symbol to CTAS. Market cap is about $63 billion. So it's a large cap, uh, United States-based company. Its forward PE is a pretty high, uh, just around 39, nearly a 39 forward PE. So is it worth it? We're going to find out at the end of the video uh, what a fair value estimate for this stock is. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Taking a look further here, Cintas Corporation has a free cash flow yield of 1.91%. They have a bottom profit line margin of 15.6%, which is quite good. They have uh, 86 million in cash and 2.43 billion in debt. Um, so there's that. That sort of debt level is really the only thing I can see so far that dings it. And then they pay, they pay a small, uh, small but uh, growing dividend yield of 0.87% at a super safe payout ratio of 36%. So dividend growth could certainly be a theme for this stock as well. And so let's get into our checks and minuses on Syntas. We're going to start with revenue growth. And so as we can see for Syntas, um, this company has been public since 1991. Uh, as far as my records show. But looking here on Qualtrum, we can see in the last 10 years, they grew at 7.4% a year. The last five years, their revenue growth has seemed to have slowed to 6.3%. Yet over the last uh, two-year stack, it's an 11.3% growth. So I think as far as revenue growth, I think somewhere right in this 6 uh, six or 7% range is sort of the revenue growth that could be expected for the future. And that revenue chart looks great. So it's most certainly going to be a check mark. All right. So now we're going to move on to our next metric in evaluating uh, CTAS stock to figure out its fair value. Stock's currently trading at $627, by the way. So let's take a look at free cash flow. And so what we can see here is a monster looking free cash flow chart. Uh, in about the last 10 years, it's really taken off. So that's great to see. And over the last 10 years, their free cash flow has grown at 13.3% a year. Um, and over the last five years, it's been at 14.95. Over the last two years, it's just been 2.6. But I think, you know, somewhere in that 9, 10% range is going to be that growth that we could look forward to on free cash flow. So this earns them yet another check mark for Syntas Corp. Let's keep on moving and see the other metrics that matter. So let's take a look at their earnings per share. Earnings per share look 
absolutely fantastic, like a rocket ship or a roller coaster over the last 10 years up uh, 17.8% for earnings per share. And over the last five, that's 114 So we can also see a two-year stack of 12.6 EPS growth. I think somewhere in that nine or 10 nine or 10 percent range could be anticipated for the near future earning syntax corp another check mark everything's looking great so maybe the only problem is going to be in the price of the stock let's find out together uh let's take a look at cash and debt so cash and debt um they have a pretty sustained high level of debt uh, and a lower level of cash um so i'll give this a red x Um, But with that being said, it hasn't necessarily seemed to have hurt their performance as a company or a stock. So I will, for fairness, rate this as a red X just because of how staggering that differential is there. But let's move on to our next metric, which is, in fact, going to be dividends. And so they did a cut on dividends when the pandemic happened. I can see that. I can see it making sense. Prior to that, they had never done a cut. When a company cuts once, they may be uh, prone to cut again, but I don't see that as being very likely with that less than 1% dividend, um, per, you know, uh, 1% dividend yield with a 33% payout ratio. So I think that this dividend chart looks pretty good, growing at 5.8% a year, beating inflation. I'm going to award CTAS stock a check mark for their dividend rating. And now let's move on to our next metric here taking a look at shares outstanding they are a massive repurchaser of shares in a big way over the last 10 years they've bought back 1.84 percent of the shares on a year-on-year basis meaning a uh share of stock that you bought five years ago owns you a bigger portion of the company today and you get access to more of those profits as it translates to price appreciation in the stock so this will be a massive check mark on not diluting shareholders let's take a look over on ratios so most importantly we will start with returns on capital employed it looks like we have a median number over the last say 10 or so years of around 18 to 20 percent so right around in that 19 20 percent range for return on capital employed that's absolutely fantastic especially for a a real world physical product company, super high returns on capital employed, one of the biggest drivers of uh, stock price, actually. So they've earned a check mark here. And then lastly, we're going to look at profit margins in the section, which are ramping nicely with a bottom line profit margin over 15%. So surprise, surprise, another check mark for Syntas Corp. So um, let's take a look at its historical PE valuation over the last 10 years. And we can see that it's trading at a premium to its historical uh, PE based on this data. So this would be a red X, a little bit uh, richly priced shares. But looking at expenses from the data that we can see here, um, it doesn't look like expenses are rising. And so uh, Syntas Corp will receive a check mark for their expenses. So not bad, actually really good. Um, And so I've done a bunch of stuff on the back end so I can bring this value to you. So let's just, let's just do that now. So we have uh, Syntas Corporation trading at $627. Let's see if we can get an idea of the fair value on this stock. Before we do that, I'll remind you to like the video and subscribe to the channel, please. And now let's take a look under the hood and see what we have here. So as we can see here, I've done a uh, rough DCF estimate based on free cash flow over the last five years. uh, CTAS had free cash flow just over a billion dollars a year. Uh, Most recent quarter, they have about 86 million in cash with 2.43 billion in debt. Shares outstanding is 103.3 million. For growth rate, um, what we're looking at now is the projected growth rate of their free cash flow. And so based on that chart that we looked at together, um, conservative assumptions are going to be a growth rate of 10% for free cash flow over the next five years, year six through 10 at 7% with a terminal growth rate of 3%, which is basically GDP. And because of the safety and defensiveness of this company, I've done our discount rate at um, 
7.5%. So it's trading right around that $625 mark. Based on free cash flow, I think the stock is worth only $330. So we have a little bit of a discrepancy there. Let's dig a little bit deeper. All right. So as I say, there's more than one ways to skin a cat and the earnings per share on this company, the the growth rate of that has just been absolutely nuts. I decided to run a PE valuation on this company and we've tabulated the last four quarters or a year of earnings per share for this stock, which is $13.78. We found what the median historical five-year PE was, which is 33.9. Now the expected growth rate, a conservative assumption, uh, I've put it 9% based on what we looked at together. I did put a margin of safety and growth decline both at 0% um, for various reasons, a pretty defensive company also goes into its discount rate of 7.5%. And so we have the $625 stock. Uh, previously, we saw that the free cash flow value was um, around 330. Uh, the value based on free cash flow is 330. Price of the stock was around 624. Based on an earnings per share multiple valuation, we can see a fair value for this company at $501. So what I've done for us now is I've averaged the uh, discounted free cash flow valuation as well as the EPS or PE multiple valuation. And when we combine these and average them together, we see a value on this stock of $415.50. And it, oh, so it's been that low. It was that low in the in the depths of COVID. It's been below that in 2022. And so looks like we're a little bit late to the party here on this stock, but I wanted to you know dig even a little bit deeper because like Peter Lynch says, investing is more of an art than it is a science. And so we see this price of the stock, $627, say $625, right? And so we you know, do some valuations on it, showing its value right around $415 on a $625 stock. And so, you know, when we let's, let's see what are, are some of the things, you know, that we can look at creatively or artistically to give us a little bit of a better understanding of way, ways in which such a high quality company like this operates. So we're over here on Backtest Portfolio Visualizer, great tool. Um, you can you can use it yourself and I would encourage you to, in fact, but what I would say is that, you know, this company has returned, this company has returned 16.3% a year over the last 33 years to the market's 10.54. So it's beat in the market by 5.76% uh, a year, 5.76 points a year. 16% uh, performance each and every year in and out for 33 years. And so, you know, um, there's been times in the past when people had looked at Microsoft or looked at Amazon and said, wow, this looks overvalued, but the price goes higher. And so while they have a pretty clean balance sheet, the actual financial performance and just the sheer profitability of this company is enormous. Everything is moving in the right direction, top line revenue growth up into the right. And so I've just dug a little bit deeper here and I wanted to share this with you. So we went back to 1991 and said that we put in a thousand bucks and contributed a hundred bucks each year. Um, and we've compared it against the benchmark, the S&P 500. And, you know, what we found is over the last, um, and you can just see that in blue is Syntas, it's massive outperformance over the S&P. What we can see is that over the last, uh, over the last uh, 33 years, it's performed at 16.3% a year. And so when we look at this stock and we look at its performance over the last, uh, you know, 33 years, and we're showing that it's overvalued at this time, what's a, what's a good way to think about it? And so one of the things that we, that we know is that, uh, over the last 10 years, the, the earnings per share growth in this company has been at 17.8%. And the uh, the free cash flow growth of this company has been at 13%. And so, you know, when you, when you look at that over the last 10 years, it's rate of growth and earnings per share. It's rate of growth and free cash flow right around 16% uh, aggregated. 
that just so happens to be the annual return over the past 33. Uh, but I think this should be looked at as a really awesome defensive stock along the lines of AutoZone. And it's certainly one that I'm going to be keenly keeping my eye on. So thanks so much for tuning in. Again, this is Sean with Not Financial Advice. And as always, if there's a stock or an ETF you'd like for me to review, just drop that uh, ticker symbol in the comments below. And until then, I'll see you next time.